Allen, senior pastor at John Knox Presbyterian Church. In the New Testament, Paul talks about how the peace of God will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. He also said, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds. I'm, I'm curious about the whole, how do you guard your mind and how does a peace of God guard your mind? How does renewal somehow um, have a way of, I don't know, enlivening, protecting, and forming our minds? Um, came across an acronym called SHIELD by a doctor. And a friend of mine is using these principles that I think are really important for us. So the scripture may not tell you how this peace guards the mind, but there are different practices that may lead us. And how do we, in our brave journey of life, make sure we're taking care of our life? And it's SHIELD. The S stands for sleep. Are you getting enough sleep? The H stands for handling stress. How are you handling stress? How are you dealing with anxiety? Is there a practice of prayer, a meditation, or rhythm of worship that you are a part of? The I is our interaction with friends. We all know loneliness, and so you have to be really intentional. Loneliness is usually telling us we're wired for a connection. And so are we intentional with finding these relationships that hold meaning for us? This interaction with friends is the I. The E is exercise. <laughs> are, we, are we in motion? Are we taking care of our, our health and our momentum? The L is for learning. Are we learning new things, new recipes, new languages, new instrument, new um, thought on history or science? Are we learning new things? And the, the D is for diet. <laughs> are we actually eating well and taking care? So there's sleep, there's handling anxiety, there's interaction with friends, there's exercise, there's learning new things, there's diet, all just different examples. So how do you guard, care for? your heart and your mind. God cares for us and has wired us to um, thrive. And in that thriving, we are challenged then to be bold, to recognize God is with us, to move forward. But in the same sense, as we're moving, we're taking care of how we're doing. So remember, you're not alone. God cares for you, and so do we.